Hey gang, what's going on? It's Rob here with Howard Halo Projects, and I will give you one guess as to what we're doing. You got it. raised planters. In this video, I'll show you how I made these barrel planters for less than the cost of wood. I don't know if you're aware of it, but lumber prices have tripled since this time last year. It was less expensive to build these raised planters, and in my opinion, they do look a whole lot nicer. How am I supposed to sand these things? Actually, I got a better idea. Dude, that was crazy. It's like, it's like uh, holding a fire hose. Unbelievable, but did you see those barrels? I can't even hear anything. Those earplugs don't work very well. That is crazy. So fast compared to sanding. How long did that take, you think? An hour? Yeah. I know we'll see how much it costs. That was crazy. Wow, what a difference. It took one hour and a hundred dollars in charges to do these. You know, so I think uh, this is the best way to go. It, it definitely opens the grains up, but I kind of like that look, so should be good for planters. So besides the cost of the barrels, which were $75 each, I did end up buying some lumber. I bought two 4x4x10 four by four by foot lengths for the bases, as well as 1x4x8 four four lengths of that for the top edge of the barrel. So all in, I'm only at $55. That's for four sideway barrel planters. You may not need that many, but that's how many we're doing. So if you only need one barrel, the cost would be half of that. So I ended up cutting the 4x4 base material at 20 inch lengths and then added uh, double that amount in 4 inch pieces for the feet that would go under that to give it just a bit of a lift off the ground. So starting with the build of the base for the barrel, I've determined the barrel has about a 10 degree angle on it. So setting my table saw at 10 degrees and lifting the blade all the way to its maximum allows me to almost get through the complete 4x4. Four four. So I'm just going to batch cut these 4x4s four all at 10 degrees. Now that they're all cut, I'm going to use a 60 grit sandpaper just to finish off the rest of that angle. And here you can see how just a little sanding helps clean up the angle on the 4x4. Four Now assembly for these bases is pretty simple. I'm measuring in two inches on either side and that will be the start of the four inch four by four leg that's gonna go on each side. I've already pre-drilled these legs with a little larger hole because I only have three and a half inch screws and these four by fours are three and a half inch so I want them to sit halfway in the middle. Once I've got everything marked, I use an exterior rated glue on both sides, spread it out evenly, and screw them together. Now to tie the two base legs together, I did have to go out and buy a 2x4. Each of these were cut at 17 inches, making the overall base 24 inches in length. I decided to rip down each of these pieces to 3 inches, which would fit right between the lower part of the angle. And here I'm just pre-drilling the holes a little deeper into the 4x4s again to anchor these 2x4 cross braces. Here I'm just using a bar clamp to help square up the base 
Once it was square, I just fastened it together with the three and a half inch screws and that'll do it for this base. And now I only got three more to go. Okay, now that all these bases are completed and I've got a coat of black trim clad on each of them, we can now get into more exciting things like cutting open these barrels. So once I determine the location of the cut on the barrel, I wanna get a screw in each band on either side of that cut. By doing this, we'll keep the barrel intact and stop the bands from springing out and possibly injuring me. Now I'm using a jigsaw with a metal blade to do this. You could probably get away with using a grinder just to cut the metal bands, but uh, the grinder I have is uh, jumping all over the place and more dangerous than it's worth. So I opted to use the jigsaw and it seems to work okay. And just repeat the same thing on the opposite side and voila, two half barrels. Now, like the barrels, each lid has to be cut in half. Basically, just drew a line down the center and freehand it on the table saw was the easiest way to go. You could also use a skill saw or a jigsaw to cut this lid. Next up was to build the top frame or the capping of the barrel. Basically, I'm just building a picture frame that sits on top of the barrel. I've cut each corner at 45 degree angles and by using a C-clamp on a flat surface allows me to keep the miter together while I pin and screw each corner. Now I can simply fasten the capping to the top of the barrel, first centering it and then using two inch screws to fasten it down. All right, best part, on to the finishing. I wanna make these barrels somewhat two-tone. I'll be using a clear spar urethane finish on the barrel itself, but the top cap, I want to darken it to make it look a little bit more unique and stand out with a bit more of a rustic feel. So as I said before, I am applying a Bar urethane. It is an exterior product. It's oil based. You could also use a water based finish. I just find the oil base tends to hold up a lot better throughout the seasons. I'm also coating the rings. If you remember, we sandblasted all the metal as well, which leaves them open to the elements, and I don't want them to rust. They're just bare metal at this point. All right, now on to the third barrel. This barrel I ended up just cutting in half, so I drew a line around the entire barrel, dead center, and I'm just using a skill saw to cut through this while rotating the barrel. So sometimes when you cut open a barrel, you'll often find these sticks, and what they're called are flavor sticks, and they are put in the barrels to add flavor to the wine. And here I'm just applying the same spar urethane exterior finish onto these round half barrel planters. Again, two coats and they'll be ready to go. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours since I coated these barrels. After that sandblasting, the grains really popped on these things. So and we can attach them to their bases and see what they look like. Okay, I've got two coats of finish applied and now all that's left to do is set each one of them on a base and bolt it down. So I'm using a five inch carriage bolt to mount the barrels to their bases. I think that should be ample. These bolts are going through the barrel and through the entire four by four, so it should easily hold it in place. And I wanna tighten these carriage bolts enough so that the head of the carriage bolt sets itself into the wood. Overall, I think these raised garden beds turned out absolutely fantastic. I think they're gonna add a rustic decor to the backyard and I just love the way the colors pop on the oak, partly due to the sandblasting and opening up the grain allows the colors to really pop and show the true quality of these barrels. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make Make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.